Welcome back to JR Pro Shop Vids, everyone. Today we got Francois Lavoie back in town from Quebec City to review the IQ78U. So as you may know, going into next PVA season, there are some rule changes regarding hardness on urethane balls. Unlike the folks at Hammer with the new blue hammer who went with a softer reactive shell to try and replicate that urethane shape, the folks at Storm decided we're gonna make a harder version of a urethane cover stock. So with that said, pitch black not being allowed to be used on tour starting next season, they brought out the IQ78U. This features the same core that's been found inside the entire IQ line, wrapped in a true urethane shell. So my thoughts on this one, I think we're gonna see a more true urethane motion like we had back in the 80s and the early 90s. A little bit earlier rolling and not so much motion down at the end of the pattern. So with this having a harder cover stock, but it also means having less of a footprint on the lane. Hopefully it tears the front part of the lane up a little bit less. You see less of that urethane transition that we're, we're accustomed to seeing. So for Frankie today, we have a 36 foot Pegasus pattern out there. Typically shorter patterns are good for urethane balls. He's gonna compare the IQ 78 against his pitch black. He's also gonna throw an IQ Tour Edition just to see the difference that the cover stock makes with the same core. That's enough for me, let's send it over to Frankie. Hey everybody, Frankie here. First time ball review on the JR Pro Shop channel. Today we've got the IQ78U to try. I've also got the Pitch Black to compare it with, as well as the regular IQ Tour. So we're gonna get into it. The first thing I'm gonna do is kind of start and get lined up with the Pitch Black how I normally would. Whenever I get a new ball, I like to get lined up with an older ball first to kind of get an idea for a shape that's familiar to my eye. The reason I try to get lined up with a, with a shape that I know is that for me it's a lot easier to tell the differences between balls if I compare them next to each other. So by getting lined up first with the pitch black, I'll be able to quickly tell how different that IQ78U is to this one. Okay, so I'm in a spot that's pretty close to strike in with the pitch black. So I'm kind of excited. I kind of want to get into that IQ78U. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is throw it in the same spot I just did where I struck with the pitch black. Not a great shot, but I like that reaction. I missed right and it picked up, which is always something we like to see. I haven't touched this ball yet. I just drilled it. Box finish, it normally comes at. Second shot, eight pin. Hopefully not a sign of things to come. Pretty smooth motion though, I like that. Again, I'm still in the same spot as I was with the pitch black. When I struck with the pitch black from that same spot, it was kind of a light mixer. And the last two that I threw, the first one I missed right and it struck. This second one, that eight pin, was right on line. Got a little more aggressive with that one. It picked up a little earlier. Three shots in so far, um, pretty smooth shape. That's the main thing I'm noticing. Another miss right. It just kind of reads early. Right. I'm not sure the pitch black would do that. This is kind of a weird time for us. We're, uh, we're moving away from the pitch black a little bit because the PBA changed the rules recently. The urethane balls that we use in PBA tournaments have to be at 78 hardness or higher. Let's see what happens if I move left a little bit with this one. Yeah, that was two left. Two left and I got it right a little bit earlier. Still picked up and it does seem like it hooks for a long time. And what I mean by that is that the hook phase of the ball seems like it's really long, whereas the pitch black tends to have a shorter hook phase. I feel like the pitch black, when it gets to the friction, it kind of turns over and changes directions or gets a little forward a little bit quicker than this one. Let's see what happens if I keep it in the oil a little bit more. I've moved two left from the first couple of shots. The last one, I still got it right. I'm gonna keep this one in the oil a little bit more. Yeah, not as much hook. It just straightened out a little bit. It's kind of what I expected though. A lot of times when we bowl on tour, when we use urethane on tour, we start somewhat straight, straighter angles on the fresh. And then as we move left, we kind of have to open up our angles to get the ball to the right a little bit quicker. That's pretty typical. So I'm gonna make sure to get this one right again. Okay. 
10 pin, but it's still hooked, still made it back. I think that's one of the main things to keep in mind with any urethane ball, really. We have to make sure that the ball gets started. We have to make sure we get it to the friction early enough because those balls aren't going to want to hook much down lane. So if we miss that friction up front, like I did with the shot where I kept it in the oil, they're just going to keep going straight and not hook enough. Let's see what happens if I go a little bit straighter. Not my best shot, but the ball did the right thing. I'm gonna throw one more like this because that intrigues me a little bit. The uh, This ball is called the IQ Tour 78U because the hardness on it is 78. That has to do with a new rule that the PBA implemented where every urethane ball that we use has to be 78 or harder. Yeah, I like that a lot. I like the last couple shots quite a bit. What I did there was from the original spot where I first threw the IQ78U, I moved to right, kind of kept everything just about the same. That's what I used to do with urethane balls. As we throw them and oil kind of gets dragged down lane a little bit, I like to move right and get closer to the friction and kind of use that oil that's been pushed down as hold. And I haven't been able to do that as much in the past with the pitch blacks and the way the other urethane balls would transition we've kind of had to move left and try to slow down and kind of hook around it. But the fact that this one's harder reminds me a little bit more of the older, old school urethane balls. So I'm thinking I might be able to do that again. Try to go a little bit more right. Yeah, I, I definitely like that. As you guys know, I like to keep my angles in front of me. I like to play a little bit straighter than most people. So. This is, how I used to this is how I used to play short patterns. We would just move right and get closer to the gutter. And eventually there's not that many people that could play as far right as I could. So kind of got to a spot where if I got the ball to hook early enough, it almost felt like unlimited hold. Halfway through the video now, question time with Frankie. The question for today is, when do you find urethane most useful? Personally, I use a urethane ball for most of my spares, but as far as the strike shots go, usually when the patterns are shorter or when they're pretty hard. The urethane balls, are the balls that tend to hook the earliest and they generally give you a smoother shape than any of the reactive balls. So when the patterns are hard and they're short, I tend to go towards urethane balls. I also use them a lot when the field as a whole is using urethane because it's kind of hard to keep up if everybody's using urethane and you're the only one throwing reactive, it makes life a little bit harder. Let me know in the comments when you find urethane most useful. Okay, we're gonna switch to the original IQ Tour, I've thrown a couple of shots with the 78U, and now I wanna know how it compares to the IQ Tour. Back to the original spot where I was with the pitch black and the 78U. Yeah, so definitely a lot more responsive to friction, which is what I expected. Just the fact that this one is reactive. Try this one one more time just to make sure it wasn't just me. Did the same thing again. It's a lot quicker and hooks a lot more overall. A lot more violent off the friction. My rev rate's not super high, but on a 36 foot pattern like this, I would definitely opt for something like the 78U, especially on the fresh, as opposed to a reactive ball like the IQ Tour. So I'm gonna try to, try to make this one strike. Seven left of the ones that missed the head pin. And I just had to really open up my angles. I've thrown, between the pitch black and the IQ78U, I've thrown probably 10 to 12 shots now. So I've stretched the pattern just a little bit. Even though I moved left, I had to make sure that I opened up my angles enough to get the ball going to the right. I can't just make parallel moves on a short pattern like this, especially with reactive, because as soon as it gets to the end of the pattern at 36 feet and it sees dry, the pattern's flat in that part of the lane, so the ball would just take off to the left just like it did. So I had to open up my angles and that was the right move. I moved seven left, just got the ball kind of around the shots I was throwing with the, the urethane balls. and. Probably not something I would do if I was to bowl for score right now. The urethane strategy would definitely be a lot safer. Now I'm gonna go back to the 78U from the same spot where I just threw the regular IQ Tour, just so we can see the difference between the two. It's what I expected. This one being urethane, definitely a lot less responsive, a lot smoother shape, and it doesn't want to hook nearly as much on the back part of the lane. 
So now that I've thrown all three balls and I have a good idea of what they all do, now comes the part where I kind of play around with them a little bit. So I said with the 78U that I liked moving a little bit right just to see if I can play a little bit straighter as the lanes transition. I'm gonna try that with the pitch black. I think it's important to know that that's the pitch black that I've thrown all my spare shots with for a long time now. And usually, if I'm not really bowling on anything short, I don't worry about the surface too much if I'm only using it for a spare ball. So this one's kind of lane shine. I haven't touched it just for the purpose of this video. So I'll throw that same shot again, just because one could be a fluke. And see, that's kind of where I get trapped with the pitch black sometimes, is what I'd like to do is move right and use a little bit more of that hold. The pitch black has a tendency to be a little bit too quick when it stands up and changes directions a little bit too fast. And that makes it a little bit, little bit more uncontrollable. So now let's try it with this 78U, which as I said, should be smoother throughout. And it should actually hook for a longer period of time, which would, in theory, make it more controllable. That looks pretty good. Reminds me a lot of the older urethane balls I used to throw. Now granted, I'm only bowling by myself here, but that transition is what I used to look for and that's how I used to adjust to it. When I say this ball reminds me a little bit more of the old school urethane balls, granted it has an IQ core in it, it's just harder. And the old school urethane balls tended to be a lot harder than some of the most recent ones. A little high, but look at the shape going down the lane. It was very smooth. Let's see if I can manipulate this ball going left a little bit. From that last shot, I'm gonna move eight left. I'll have to slow down the speed a little bit, but let's just see what happens. Yeah, so probably not a ball that I'm gonna try to open up the lane with. That's probably where the pitch black is gonna come in. So I'm gonna throw one last one with the pitch black from that same spot where I just two aided. My initial thoughts here, the IQ78U gives me a little bit more of a rounded shape and a longer hook phase overall, whereas the pitch black tends to be a little bit quicker off the spot. I think that's gonna allow me to play a little bit straighter with the 78U. And if I wanted to curve it a little more with urethane, I would probably go towards the pitch black. That being said, I'm probably not gonna use the pitch black a whole lot anymore. Since the PBA rules have changed, I'm probably gonna lean a little bit more on the IQ78U, but I think that this will be a little bit closer to what I used to do with the older urethane balls. And as the lanes transition, when there's a lot of urethane going down the lane, I would move further right, get the ball to hook earlier, and kind of use that oil down lane as hold. As far as comparing the 78U and the IQ Tour, they're not really that close, I don't think, even though they have the same core, really smooth shape out of the 78U. And the IQ Tour, obviously, on this pattern, was a lot more responsive and a lot quicker off the friction. Change direction was a lot more violent from that one as opposed to the urethane IQ. I feel like the fact that this ball is hooking for a lot longer is what actually allows me to play straighter with it. All right, that's enough shots. Let's recap. Here we go, first impressions of the IQ78U. I like what I'm seeing out of it. It is stronger than the pitch black. It does hook for a longer period of time than the pitch black, but I do believe that it'll allow me to actually play straighter. I've explained that while I was throwing the shots. I think that it's different enough from the pitch black that I'll be able to have both in my arsenal. Now, obviously moving forward on the PBA Tour, this is going to be my main urethane ball because we won't be allowed to use the pitch black anymore. But in an environment where I can, I'll definitely carry both because I think they are different enough from each other to complement each other well. For the purposes of this video, I haven't touched the surface of this. So this was at box finish when we started. I think that at that surface, it does hook a little bit sooner than the pitch black, but it hooks for a longer period of time, which allows me to actually keep it in front of me a little bit more. Whereas the pitch black tends to stand up and change directions a little bit quicker, which makes me have to open up my angles a little bit more. So I think this one would be one that I would use to go a little bit straight and personally I would use the pitch black
like to open up the lane a little bit more. As I said before guys, as far as the PBA Tour is concerned, this will be my urethane option from now on. I don't think, however, that this is a replacement for the Pitch Black. I think that the two are different enough from each other that when I use this one, I'll actually be looking for different shapes out on the lane than I would with a Pitch Black. Overall, I'm pretty happy with my first impressions on this. I'm looking forward to throwing this on a few different patterns and I'm looking forward to changing the surface a little bit more and just play around with it as a whole. So thanks for watching guys and we'll see you in the next video.